Hey, what's up everybody? It's George. Uh, the DBL1 is in production. We sorted out some kinks and uh, took care of all the manufacturing details. And now we are rolling. If you have one of these on order, uh, you should be getting some delivery information in the next few weeks. Uh, I think the rest of the head cabs are due in about a week from now. So uh, it's getting close and it took a little longer than I had hoped, but here we are. Uh, a lot of people are asking for a rundown uh, that just kind of walks through the different modes and uh, the tones. And so that's what I want to do on this clip. And we're going to start in 65 mode. Now this is new for any Metropolis. The Metroplex, of course, has 66, 68 in mod. And this amp was based on the Metroplex. Uh, William had one of these and he loved 68 mode, he loved mod mode. He needed to be able uh, on stage to switch to something cleaner and go from uh, a, a pretty clean tone to a real kind of a, the, the chunky sort of modern, a little tighter, a little more modern sounding uh, gainier tones. And so he came here, we worked it all out, dialed in each one of the tones to uh, ideally suit him and his signature guitar and what he needs on stage with Alice in Chains and if he's doing other projects and stuff. So this is what we came up with, and uh, this is 65 mode, and it's uh, it's not really based on any particular historic, uh, you know, Marshall amp or any amp, but it's uh, it's the same sort of uh, very familiar British voicing. gain is on about uh, four and I do have an El Capistan in the loop as usual. And at, at these settings it really lives on that edge of breakup where you can uh, play light and get clean sounds and dig in and it starts to grind a little bit. two channels and each channel has two modes so the first channel has 65 and 66 modes the second channel has 68 and mod modes so you can switch between channels and you can also access all four of the modes on the fly from the foot switch so I'm still on the first channel but I'm going to switch to the 66 mode <laughs> Metroplex, the circuit's the same, but we did beef up the power supply uh, from the Metroplex to the DVL-1 because William is always at stage volume and he has to have 
the the tightness and the definition and the attack even at the stage levels volume wise so the power supply is beefed up a little bit I don't think it really changes the feel of 68 so much uh, it's much more apparent in the mod mode we'll hear in a second but uh, everyone who wants to know is 68 the same as the Metroplex yes it is <laughs> Back to 66 and Metroplex and it's a little more modern a little more chunky and uh, just a hair tighter so you know when it, William has to play Allison chain stuff it's it's about one degree of separation further away from the plexi saggy squishiness he needs the definition so that's what we've done on this <laughs> to one another so uh, first for me is a mid boost and uh, all that does is just take the tone stack and push massive amounts of mid-range through and so 68 mode with and without the uh, mid boost or without first <laughs> the Metroplex only now it's got a level control a gain control and a, uh, a high and a low EQ all right on the front panel and you can access this uh, 
both boosts apply to all modes. They're not unique to any of the four modes. So you can always step on them and you can step on those together. But here's 68 mode with the, uh, with the FET boost. <laughs> six and eight dBs of boost available just on the FET circuit and then if you hit the mid boost it's even more than that it's got to be at least 10 to 12. Uh, so that's just some of the features of course it has the Variac, has a half power switch, has the effects loop and so this uh, was custom tailored for everything that William needed for his rig. He had two or three different kinds of amps in his rig before and now all he has is uh, two DVL ones on at all times and one spare and he's taking them around the world and he's just as happy as can be. So. If you need one of these things we are building them and they are available so just uh, hit us up or uh, check out the website and uh, I get a lot of requests for Metroplex versus DVL1 clips and I don't have a Metroplex right now but we are going to finish one in the next week or two so uh, as soon as I have both of those available, I'll put them on the amp switcher and we'll take a listen to that. So, anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.